Well, today is Tuesday, 90 minute, 9 minutes before 2 o'clock. So it's time to go get some lunch. I'm staying at a hotel in uh, Cambridge, Ontario. I did all my paperwork. So I did all my uh, bookkeeping paperwork for November. Filed my uh, sales tax return. So I'm gonna get about 1200 bucks Canadian uh, probably next week and um, the car goes into the shop later today they're gonna put it overnight uh, you know to keep the engine compartment warm and I told them that BBK I said uh, what might work is uh, just use some hot water you know but you see I could have tried it to do it myself but I wasn't able to unhook this hose in here and I don't want to break it that's AC hose but I'm pretty sure those guys can do it so uh, this is the factory one right so unslip unclap unclap uh, take this one off this one off this one off and then you know it's still rubber so it should be it should expand in, in hot water but I told them they'll definitely need a new uh, clamp and they said that's not a problem and the new one is in my uh, on my passenger side there so that's what I'm doing now and I checked with uh, I checked with BBK about the about my shorty headers which I ordered uh, I ordered almost a month ago and they said they were not in stock and they should be in stock on uh, November 30th the last day the last day of uh, of the month and they still were not there and I keep emailing you know like where are they and of course uh, hold on let me just find this Peter Hutt over here head south toward Hesbler Road Waterloo Regional Road 24 turn right onto Hesbler Road Waterloo Regional Road 24 yeah, of course I know where I'm going, but I just want to keep it interesting for you guys. But, but anyway, so BBK, you know, stopped responding to my emails, you know, and I paid them five hundred fifty dollars US. And because last month I didn't make a lot of money, I only did two uh, short trips, right, like that Ohio trip. And actually, that video is doing very well. It's like over twenty k views. Uh, the one that's called the leaving the shipper with the cat 336 so I'm very thankful for that at least I'm making a couple of bucks on the video itself but <laughs> I didn't do too well in terms of trucking and so now you know I can use some money you know for future loads because of course you know I'm using my own money for fuel right and I tried a couple of fuel cards it's just I don't like their conditions like I tried to I talked to Petropass and they were willing to give me a one week grace period fuel card which is like nuts so why would I want to use your card and pay you interest and they expect me to pay off the balance every week the only thing w worse than that is my American Express I'm really getting pissed off with these people I'm gonna cancel it because it's totally unpredictable they gave me a credit limit I, I've been trying to use that card for I'm just waiting till the arrow goes above C cold and I've been using that card for fuel in Canada but you know they gave me a limit I think I have like 4800 or something Canadian 
and they still can cancel you know like future future purchases may be declined it's like the worst card i ever had so i'm gonna cancel that one once it paid off because i got a bunch of i got a lot of credit cards you know don't need that aggravation uh, but now I needed money, you know, for fuel, for future loads, and so uh, I called BBK, I said, guys, so uh, I want to cancel the order, because it still shows as unavailable, like, you know, and plus, of course, you know, everybody knows that the real deal is long tube headers, not short shorty headers, because this car has a pretty good uh, manifold, which looks like a shorty a set of shorty headers but I didn't want to spend thousand bucks right now you know like that set and you need meat pipes you know when you buy long tube headers you need not just them but you need meat pipes because long tube headers are different diameter right with shorty headers it's just that so it was 550 US and it's direct install no other parts are required but you're just getting maybe I don't know 15 horsepower but with long tube headers maybe you can get like 25 30 but then it's a much bigger install. It's like an, I talked to this shop actually where I'm taking this car. And they said, how much would you charge for to install long tube headers? And they said, oh, it's gonna be whole day. So a thousand bucks Canadian, right? So shorty, shorty headers are definitely cheaper themselves. The parts are cheaper and the install is, is cheaper. That's why I went with that. I'm Because I'm pretty happy with the performance of this car, you know. With the, with the tune and with the exhaust and the cold air filter, I th I'm pretty sure I have about I have about 500 500 horse and the crank. And it sounds awesome, you know, but not everybody would like it. Like I know my brother, I talked to my brother, he says, no, I want my, I like my car quiet. Well, that's not me, I like it loud, but of course I don't like it too loud inside, you know? And actually that was the issue with the, with the Mustang. When I had the Mustang, I went too far. And especially after I installed Super 10s, and the X pipe. Like, what's a Hellcat? You know, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> So the BBK, uh, they did give me a discount because it was delayed. They gave me a $100 discount and I used that discount to buy the BBK, the throttle body that's sitting over there, right? So I did save hundred bucks and when I called them, they canceled and they said, yeah, the money or the entire 550 is coming back to my, uh, to my card, which I can use for fuel and that's USD. So beautiful. And so now today I'm gonna, around four o'clock I'm gonna take the car to the okay tire and hopefully by tomorrow I'll have the new throttle body and so that should give me a couple of extra horsepower I don't have any uh, illusions maybe five horsepower maybe ten but it'll definitely improve the the throttle response which is pretty good now I love this car and so yeah and I, I already I'm not gonna do BBK next time there's a much better uh, uh, because BBK factories and BBK factories in California and uh, the, the office is in Florida and that was causing because first they have to ship this from California to Florida 
them from from Florida they were ship trying to ship it to Michigan like as I told them and it just takes forever whereas there's another manufacturer called stainless works stainless works and I looked them up they have the same you know excellent product you can get all these headers ceramic coated chrome whatever and they are in Ohio and when I looked when I looked uh, on their website for dealer locations the actual plant in Ohio shows up and so I emailed the customer service I said hey is it possible to pick up the stuff I order from your website at your plant? Like, do you have a store on site? And they said, yeah, we do. It just, uh, there might be a while till the stuff is ready because, you know, we are unlimited uh, staff. So now I know what I'm going to do. So come spring, when I have some extra cash, I'm gonna order Stainless Works, the full kit, uh, long tube headers and off-road meat pipes. So that would match my three inch exhaust because in the front it's still 275, 2.75 inches. And so we're gonna match that with, with a three inch. body will be installed and then the next mod after that will be uh, tires because this car has so much wheel torque uh, these uh, 240 tires are uh, they feel too too narrow so I want to get 275 so it's this the same wheel wheel is the same 20 inch but the tire will be 275 so that's of course millimeters and width now as for the loads, I uh, talked to one guy, oh I sent out my, um, send out my, you know, update, my update, RGN available, to my uh, 120 contacts, like brokers I, I work with before, and as, as they said in that movie, we sent out a signal and we got an alien response. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Battleship? That's what, when the aliens attack them, right? And, and the guy from the White House says, hold on, let me understand this. So we sent out a signal and we got an alien response. Yes, sir. So <laughs> that's what happened to me. So I sent out a signal. I sent out the release, new kind of like news release, right? Saying that RGN is available. And one guy called me from Florida and he has a very shady credit rating, but I worked with them before, they can do COD. So I said, all right, so what's going on? What do you have? He says, well, I got 125,000 pounds in uh, New Jersey and I got 112. I said, 125, it's too heavy for me. You need uh, at least 10 axles. I said, uh, what is, what's this uh, 112? So I can do 112 and he's and, and I said um, I talked to other guys like a couple of other companies uh, had this on the load board it looks like you know the same origin uh, same destination in Ontario and I said is this your load or are you still kind of like them you know accepting bids and just trying to get it? he says no it's my load I already have the money from the customer and I said uh, what's your budget like what do you have in mind oh no you tell me i said all right give me your email address please and uh, i'll look up on the map and just run my uh, mighty calculator and i'll get back to you 
So the guy texted me his uh, email address. I look up and it's uh, it's thousand miles for me because I have to go 500 miles empty into US and then come back with the load 500 miles, right? So of course they don't care, but hey, I'm in Canada. Like you want me to do this super heavy load, I'm gonna charge you for thousand miles, not just for 500 miles. And so my calculator shows that permits escorts would be around three thousand dollars us and that to to stay profitable i need around eleven thousand us all inclusive and so i emailed the guy i said hey this is what i need because you know it's a big it's a lot of weight and i'm gonna be you know i would need my jeep and my stinger and the guy says oh i only have uh 7500 from the customer us and i said no i'll have to pass i'm sorry it's uh like the <laughs> permits are three grand and then the fuel you know and then the border the tolls it just doesn't work like that and so then i see he posted that load for 6500 so he just told me that he has 7500 from the customer and he posted it for 65 so he he expects to to make a thousand bucks on this load why not, right? Way to go. The lunch was good. I had five pieces of kefta with some salad. Uh, no bread, no rice. Just meat and, uh, and light salad. I need to lie down and as I was eating I was checking my email and uh, saw that I got a response from uh, stainless works again a lady called Jessica in the customer service the one who told me that I can pick up I can pick up uh, the headers at the plant now she says when do you I said I'm it's not an a rush I'm gonna order later and she says when did you plan on ordering because we have a 12 week some of our items have 12 week production time like what what's it's all because of this you know COVID situation right and I said well I cannot do it now I'm gonna gonna do it uh, I was thinking probably end of winter because now it's too cold to mess with the car you know and then another interesting email I got I uh, just before I went on lunch I emailed the uh, Fontaine dealer in US I said do you guys have any Christmas discounts on the flip axle and uh, and a five foot deck insert. I said, I just lost a $16,000 load. Like no BS, 16,000 US it was paying on a thousand miles. And I could not do it because <laughs> I'm like close on axles, but it would be illegal in one state, so I would need one more axle even though the weight was 116,000 pounds and that's what sometimes people don't understand right like I have a 60 ton trailer right I have a four axle truck tandem Jeep four axle trailer but this was a crane it was a crane so of course as a crane it has a boom right and once you load this the boom sits above your wheel area and what that does is it puts a lot of weight on the back and this is not it's like the up the upteenth time I run into a situation where the weight of the load is okay but the way it's loaded it overloads the trailer and and I have 26 in the well 
this thing the guy sent me the make and model it was a Tadano 1000 and they said no it's not gonna fit in the 26 foot well you need 28 at least and that's where this deck insert from Fontaine right I can get a five foot uh, deck insert and I would just keep it there and so I asked uh, this guy Mark from New Jersey, I said, hey Mark, you know, uh, you got any discounts, you know, like, I was just kind of like semi-joking, you know. And he says, hey, this must be a lucky day, we just got a trade-in in the form of an intermediate flip axle. Like a customer kept this intermediate flip axle, kind of like the same as my Axle 3 on the trailer, and the, the important part is that that axle has connections on both sides because I can hook it up one side to my tandem trailer and the other side will hook up to uh, to the booster and then my trailer becomes three plus two which what you really need for a 60 ton work and he says we just got this intermediate axle that the customer purchased it's a 2014 model and he says the customer never used it and he sent me a picture and it has steel rims but you know who cares uh, I, I could replace it later but unfortunately I don't have the money right now but he, he gave me a very good price much cheaper than the brand new one so that was funny and then another email I got all while doing this while eating my kefta lunch was uh, a broker responded again to my another broker responded to my uh, news release that RGN is available the guy emails me he says hey uh, you moved the cat for us a few months ago we now have the same one in this at the same shipper and going to the same place in Canada are you interested and I checked on the map I said hey I'm uh, 850 miles away what did you think for a rate and the guy says, well it's the same machine same class same weight just like last time so he says same rate and I don't remember what it was I said okay give me a second let me check on my computer so that's what I'm doing I'm now rushing back to my hotel so I can look up my old invoices because I know I keep I keep everything on my computer so I can look up even I keep even permits which is very helpful you know Just remember I think it was in the spring so I'm just gonna find them and see what they paid me if it if it paid okay I'll just go empty down there and bring it back and maybe then I can afford this uh, flip axle I really need that one especially uh, Especially for the springtime. So that's what's happening. So basically, I'm trying to find a load while I'm dealing with the car and trying to expand my business and I'm not gonna sell uh, the truck I'm not gonna sell the trailer because the truck cost me 40 grand a year so there's too many expenses so I'm gonna keep the truck at least for a couple more years after it's paid off in March 23 
and then in november 23 my trailer is paid off so i'm gonna keep that one for a couple of years or maybe well i just basically what i found is that you cannot have two payments okay like buying a new truck and a new trailer it's too tough it's too much stress you know when you don't have a uh, a, a permanent uh, customer base right i don't have regular customers right well these old brokers that i work with you know sometimes they get in touch with me just like what happened today right but it's not easy and so having two big payments almost seven thousand bucks canadian for the truck and trailer it puts a lot of stress on this uh, operator and so i'm i'm just looking really looking forward to that sunny i hope day in march 2023 when my 4k payment for the truck is gone and then in november same year i'm gaining another 3k of course they start breaking down but still you know 7k a month even though that's not real money that's canadian but still it's a lot of money so but i'm always you know trying to get to the top in terms of money and performance and you see that's that's how i i decide what to get right like you see i give you a a, a true example true life example 16k us and to do that load i would need one more axle because of the too much weight in the back and i would need a longer deck right uh so and probably that's number one I, i'm gonna get the axle and then later i already reached out to uh to a trailer plant in quebec i asked him about i asked him for a quote on the deck insert because i know their their rates are much cheaper is that of course I, i'd have to go down there up there me um, i mean um to northern ontario and let them measure everything but it would be way way cheaper than from fontaine and so i'm gonna maybe I, I i don't even need a five foot deck insert you know if i have 26 now i just need maybe like a three foot deck insert you know i just want to get to 28 or 29 something like that because this is not the first time i'm running into situations where 26 is just too short you know you just need you know two feet right that's 60 centimeters and that's the difference between zero and 16,000. Enough said. Thanks for watching.